Hey folks, I said brush cherry, so brush cherry it is. In this episode, we're going to be doing a, well, already did a traumatic part, but we're going to be repotting my brush cherry into a different container. And you won't be surprised at this, but I was slightly surprised at what I found. So let's dive in. This is the brush cherry I got from uh, Molly World, basically, not too long ago. And I'll have to readjust this camera very quickly, but I had, you know, established it into this pad here, pad over here, and kind of try to make good pads here. I already went through and did my blind root pruning, so it is already separated. And you can see the roots had the same idea I did. They'd already started to girdle themselves. So that, I'd call it a pleasant surprise, but interesting surprise, certainly. And we're going to try to get this all cleaned up. Now, I know for a fact, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with this root combing to have passed itself. So, go to where I can see. I'm gonna cut it right off, just to start. Because I can't do anything with it. This big root here, which is enormous, it's probably actually part of the trunk that I'd wanted to keep. I can feel it comes down this way. But, we will find out the hard way on this one, as I do with every one of them. I do not feel a whole lot of roots in this part of the... No, I don't. I don't feel a whole lot of anything. Yeah. Okay, so that was a root coming around like that. Which is interesting. Um, but it looks like the big, big root that I went through down low was really... The only root. So, the same as that one, uh, <laughs> that one willow, this thing has nothing going for it at all. Absolutely nothing going for it. Um, that is where my root base was and is going to be. Um, but this one is absolutely, yeah, I would say it's unusable. I'm not sure if it's actually unusable. It just looks unusable. Um, and these kind of roots are my least favorite on the planet. I hate them. But we're going to work with what we got. Now, it almost gives us an opportunity to do a kind of semi-cascade, but I'm not really sure I want that. I kind of want to keep it upright. So I'm going to cut down this big piece first because I don't think it's helping anybody. And it's, you know, cool as it is to have a massive taproot like that. Ooh, it's not very bonsai either. So we're going to start there. So this is what happens when you find prune. You take this risk every time. And there may be still a great reward for this particular tree, um, but there are going to be trees where I do that with, oof, and it does not become a great reward. It becomes a very, very big issue. Um, take that back further still. Give myself what I would call a more flat bottom on that. I, of course, cutting all these roots around it. I want to give it a good place to grow new roots from. Now, that's not going to be my root base, I don't think. I'd want it up higher here, but to cut off all these roots, I would certainly kill this tree. In fact, I don't think I'm going to cut off any more roots at all. Um, I will eliminate the part of this that doesn't need to be there. It's, of course, a little long for the live roots that are on it. Um, yeah. That was not what I'd wanted to find at all. That's terrible. <laughs> really, really bad. So, doesn't need a whole lot, but you know, I think I might be able to even, yeah, I can get into one of these. Now what I'll do I will probably cut these roots down. Um, you know, now, I'm going to trim these upper ones. And the reason why is because these are probably going to be the starts of a uh, root base. So I'm going to cut them back to the point where they can come out. Because they come out somewhat radial there. Well, there's a top and bottom, but you know, at least one of those is going to be used. The rest of this isn't very usable. It's too far down. 
even this big root will likely be cut all the way back as soon as I can. Yeah, these are kind of even sticking up. Now, should I wire it in? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Got plenty of room in here, but I'll tell you what, first, I'm going to give it a little spray. I'm going to fill up my container with some soil. I need that, of course. I'm going to definitely be putting sphagnum in with this soil. There's absolutely no way I can skip it. Because otherwise, this tree will perish 100%. Anyone who's got experience with a brush cherry, chime in. Let me know if I'm wasting my time even trying to save this after I cut the whole bottom of the tree off. I'm hoping it's still worth saving. Let's see. I'm going to just dig this in just like that. Yeah. Try to scoop some more around it. It does have very strong growth on the top side after being cut back. Um, of course, virtually at the time of purchase in the middle of the growing season. Um, but I think I did pull it out of the pot again. It didn't have any roots growing. So I think I caught it again, like those other trees, a nice window uh, where it wasn't growing roots. I'm going to pull this out of here. I almost forgot. You guys can't see anything like that like that. That's a little more visible. Put it on top of my, oof. Terracotta watering tray here, watering saucer, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to continue to fill it up. Yeah, I'm not sure how easily these root from cuttings. I'm not sure how much of a chance this thing's even got, but I don't think this was a good bonsai choice. That's why they say start with the roots. Now, a little premature, but maybe that I'm just starting with no roots and Virtually just being the cutting. That's okay. For that reason, it's very easy to uh, <laughs> very easy to repot, and we're less than ten minutes in on a quite a large trunk. But since that's all there really was to it was the trunk. That's why. Still gonna do my due diligence to stake it in. Still gonna do everything I know to do as if it was a normal repot, even for Trees that don't seem like they have much hope, especially for trees that snow, don't seem like they have much hope. Those are the ones that you take all the time and energy on, and either they die and you don't feel bad about putting all the time and energy in, or they thrive and you feel so good about what you did. And not just an easy tree. Um, bonsai is filled with easy trees, don't get me wrong. But I think when you've got a tree that's 200 years old and you go to repot it, whether it's a slip pot, or a, you know, a developed tree that's being repotted. I am 100% certain that every time that is a huge risk. A 200-year-old tree, if it's this tall, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not going to want to move. And everything there could be the balance. It may be a strong tree, um, but a 200-year-old tree, last time it was out of the ground, may have been a different flora of bacteria and pests and diseases that didn't exist and that tree was last repotted. You could be exposing it to microbes that have mutated greatly since that tree was last out of the ground. It could just be death because that tree, you know, gave up. You would be the one who did it there. You know, if you left the tree in the pot, it probably survived for another hundred years. Who knows? Um, but that's one where it's it's just not the same. I like trees like this that seem like they're hopeless. I like just keeping them going if I can. And seeing what happens. You know? Like even now, that's pretty solid in there. So I'm going to scoop this in a little bit. Give it a little spray, right? The old St. Thomas spray. That's what we're going to start calling that. Um, St. Thomas spray. I like that name for it too. It's a good name. And I'm going to water it in. Again, I'm pretty sure this is going to overflow because it doesn't have the same buckle on the bottom. No, it's not. 
Sure is. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So there is our brush cherry that might be the last time we see it before its final planting angle, guys, but I still like it. Still trying to bring all this in, so this will likely be a very welcome. Same with this right here. That'll be awesome. This has already kind of come in a little bit, so I'm not worried about the length on this one. I'll probably bring this one back in under control, um, but I really like the rest of it. You know, it's one to two, one to two. Over here, you know, this one's a little bit long. This might end up being eliminated to keep this one separate. And again, all this is just starting to come in and bifurcate back far right here. Got some bifurcation, so almost all this will be able to come off soon. That'll be really nice. Um, it has a little over under, but I'm gonna leave it all. Today is not the day to take that off. Um, yeah, we've got some, some great shape coming into this one even despite all my efforts to try to kill it, you know? So I'm going to give it some rocks as well. In fact, I'm going to borrow a quite large rock for another planting to make sure that it is not going anywhere. Um, yeah, everyone just, you know, turn your pajamas inside out and hope that this brush cherry makes it. Um, my first brush cherry, I really like the way it's shaped. I really don't want to lose this whole thing. Of course, my leader being right here. Um, I nibbled off the top since it brought back, brought itself back so much. I will likely take this branch down as a back branch versus leaving it up like that. Um, and same thing here. I'll probably try to keep it low, keep it coming out backwards. Um, but this is the front of my tree. I'm very, very, very pleased with where it's already headed. You know, this has already started into a really nice pad. It's not terribly compact. But it's not too bad. And this taper is going to be really great if I keep it going. Um, this is almost an eye poker, but not quite. This will be almost an eye poker. But I can change directions on these once they bifurcate. You know, it, it's not something I'm stuck with. Uh, I'm really liking this. So that's all for today. Thank you all for joining me. Um, in my, This could either be a moment of glory or a moment of utter disappointment uh, in, you know, next spring when it's time to see if these roots actually made it. But thank you all for joining me with my process. Everyone take care of yourselves. Cheers.